Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I'm back with day 20. So we are a fifth of the way through. I had, um, this is Melissa's package. I think it was Melissa that gave me this, but I think I'll do that another day. Um, and I think I might, um, so uh, you will have seen uh, crystals flip through and I mentioned that I had found a, um, that little folder thingy, thingy majiggy that I made quite a while ago um, with some scrapbook paper. So I thought I might use these three bits here and just see what I can make with them. I'm just going to have a play around with them. I think I'm going to fold this one like this. I've got my bone folder here so I can... Um, sorry about the loud noises. I think my microphone's back working so you're going to get very loud noises every so often. So that's going to be too deep. So I need to fold it. I don't want them to be too big. So I think I would fold it like that. Yes, that's a good size. And what I'm going to do is my, um, what's it called is over there. So I'll, I'm sure you know what my, what's it called is. My um, thingy majig it. That's even better, isn't it? My paper cutter is over there. So I'm just, I want these to be about, yeah, I don't want them any bigger than that because I want them to be like tuck, spots, tuck spotty sort of things. Now, I might unplug the phone and I've got my cutter here on the floor. I could put it up on the table. I've got a little bit of a space here I can use. Um, I'm not attached to the microphone anymore. You probably can see it. Um, hopefully you can hear me. And I hope that bashing wasn't too loud for your poor ears. Okay, so we'll just trim this off. Because, you know, do you know what? This is, this is a nice tag size. So that's why I'm trimming it. And uh, I'm, I, don't, I really don't um, enjoy that design there. I don't know why. I, just, I love that. And I love the turquoise. And it's quite bright for me. But I really do like it. Um, but I don't like that. So I'll probably colour that up and that, that is a nice background for a tag as well. Now I'll put my microphone back on so that way it's not swinging about on the table and you're hearing scraping noises. So just a second, I hope I'm not making awful sounds. There we go. So it's, um, right, there's no coffee to be drunk so there'll be none of that noise. Okay, so we've got some two fairly vintagey looking ones and we might do those another day. Um, and one very bright and cheery one. Well, you know, I've got to work with it. So let's see. Let, I've got my, I've, I am a bit organized today. I've got my um, papers here. I've got this beautiful old paper here that I might put somewhere. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Is that just, I mean, how many times have you heard that before? That could be nice. Could be nice like pocket sort of thing I could like that don't know don't know I've got lots of doilies over here um, anyway I'm just moving things about that's what I do when I don't know what I want to do I've got too many pairs of scissors here I don't need all of these I'll keep those just in case I have to cut any fabric or anything because they're good um, I don't need to keep these ones. Put those back over there. I've got all the other bodgy scissors that don't work. And I do need those too. Um, there's some scraps there. Put those in the scrap basket. Don't need those. Okay, sorry guys. I should have done this before. Don't need those. Okay. So I've got my ephemeral folders here. I've got a big mess of paper there. Oh, I've got some... Um, I told you I did want to play around a bit with the Medieval Mirage goodies as well. That's a beautiful Aosier doily. We'll put that one over there. Um, I'm just going to pull out some things over here that are just lovely and see if anything, you know, you never know, I might want to use something. For example, no, but could be nice on there. Anyway, I don't know. Don't you just love the videos when the person doesn't know what they want to do? 
could go on there. What's this lady doing? She looks a bit sad. She could pop in there. No. Okay. Right, let's just, come on. Let's just get on with it. Stop mucking about. Okay. So, I'm really thinking, feeling like this paper would like to go on here. Yes, it does. So, I've got some gluing paper over here. And this is probably, this is like super old paper from the 1820s or 30s I can't remember which and so um, it's a little bit thin but it doesn't feel it was hand um, handmade paper so um, it does resist quite well okay I do like that that's a start isn't it and then possibly See, once you get over the initial thing of not knowing where to start, things start to happen. Could go there. No, don't like that. What I really would have liked was a little bit there, but maybe I don't. Maybe I would just like something like that. Possibly, I don't know. Um, and then I would like to put an image on there or something. But I do need to put a little bit more paper in the background. Now, I do have this huge basket that I don't... Oh, 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 don't fall off. Look at this. Look how much stuff. Okay, I've got lots of straw paper here. I've got some bits and pieces of um, antique papery. I have a heart. Um, so I'm just having a little think about what do I want to put here and I'm thinking I oh, like that yes that's very nice and so I'm going to put that there really like that just move these out of the way otherwise they'll annoy me and I would like to put some sort of what is that that's kind of more like a journaling card now that's a beautiful pocket I'll put that over there. I don't need that. I could like something like that. No. Nope. Just let me see what else there is. That's so pretty. I like that. There's the, Oh, look at that little stamp. Isn't that gorgeous? That's nice. Um, that one. So I'm, I think I'm liking the more... There's some oval things. We know how I feel about those. I will get my head around them one day. So I don't think I need to go through all of these. Okay. I'll tell you what. I bought the Medi uh, from the uh, Medieval Mirage. I bought this one. I'll show you. And I, I think I bought, this is what I bought. Medieval Odyssey Volume 1. Um, and I bought the add-on and I also bought um, the, the journal kit. That's what I bought. I think that's correct. I do like her. I now I feel like it needs something else. I feel like possibly it needs a little bit of music paper. Now, I don't know if I've got any music paper in here. I don't think I do. I've only got regular paper and I don't think I've got any in here. I don't think I do. Oh, no, I don't want... Oh, well, maybe. Maybe a little bit of... So I'm going to go through this bundle here and um, slip a little bit into orders because i got too much. Too much. Especially with all this collaging going on. Uh, it doesn't seem to go down at all. It just seems to get bigger. I don't seem to use as much as I create <laughs> so it's a bit of a problem oh I like that now but I do feel like it needs some music paper so let me just grab this look at this look at this this is yummy and look at the inside paper isn't that lovely so this is a um, music book that I bought with my when I went to the antique market with my mother-in-law 
and so I'm just going to the thing about these music papers is I don't know the date on them there's no date I can't find the date does anybody know how to find the date on the music paper because I can't find it I want to say it's old because um, I've just seemed to find that um, when they have these sorts of covers they're pretty old at least the first half of the um, yeah there's no there's no date at all no date whatsoever we're not allowed to know that none none so there you go it's in that lovely so when I finish that that's going to be altered that's going to be a big one but it's falling apart so I'll have to figure out something to fix it I'm liking this I really am I don't want to cover that up that I, I am going to tear just a tiny bit of this just to see if I would like to have a bit of music paper there or not I might not because I don't want to cover all the background. I like the background. I think I'm going to have it without. Maybe put her up. Maybe put her down further. Or put her further up. Put that there. And have something here. That's what I'm thinking, yes. I think so. Isn't that beautiful? So I hope you all go over and check out um, the Medieval Mirage. This is not at all sponsored by them, by the way. I just really like them. And um, I get really excited when you ladies all um, enjoy them as well. And then I get to see how you use them. So, um, yes. Just love it. And, and my, my other thing here is I printed these on um, cream cardstock. I need to go and print it all out on just the white presentation paper as well because it gives you, like, obviously if you print it on cream, um, you have to use things that are in that sort of tone, if you know what I mean, like it's warm. So I want to print it on the white as well so that way I've got two options. And uh, I'll just put this lovely, this is just from a book that I've just torn out. And I will work out in a minute. Um, oh my word. I will work out in a minute what I would like to put down there. I just don't know at the moment. I do like that though. It's coming along. And then what would I like to put on the back? It's a bit sticky. I mean, you could put something like, it's too much of the same I think I've got I've got I mean I've cut all this medieval mirage th these medi medieval mirage things out it's just that I've got I'm in quite a bit of a mess with it all and so I can't find all my bits and pieces which is a bit of a, a problem so um, you know I could I might like a bit of lace or a bit of um, Put some lace over here. This is all my favourite one. That might be too. It's kind of nice. Might be too blendy. Where are my scissors? Now I'm trying to not to get my fluffy head in. So I've got my my iPad angled a bit further that way, so you don't maybe you don't get to see my head, my you know my hair, fluffing in. I quite like that. That's it's going to go there because you can still see the beautiful paper underneath but you get that nice little bit of texture there and you know what I didn't use the music paper but the music paper could do quite well could do quite well on the back so I'm liking it more down there not up there oh well I might put it up there I think I want to tear off that, even though it's going near the straight edge, I think I want to tear that off. Actually, I might put it there, and then I could have a bit of this nice old paper. Let's see. Put that there. Yes, I'm thinking that's what I want to do. Hopefully it doesn't stick to my 
glue page and tear. Oh, got it. Okay. Got that. And that. And now I don't need to worry which way is the up with the music because I've got right there some letters on there and I can see which way is the up. And then I was thinking possibly, but possibly also possibly not, I might like, um, oh, I think that's too white. Oh, it's quite nice though. I don't know. Put that there. Let's see what else I've got in the doily section. I don't think I want that one. Don't want those. I don't want blue. That one could be good. Um, that one might be too. I need something a bit stronger. Could be good. These could all be good. So they're all possibilities. These I think are too. Um, they would blend in too much. Is what I want to say. That one might stand out too much. I like that one. So I just like to, I mean, I'm sure you know by now how my brain works. I just like to pull out all of my possibilities and then I will just test them all and see what I like and then make a decision which is best. This is fabulous, this one. It's very useful. Oh, there's another Iosia. Oh, I've got three Iosia ones left. That's good because I really like those. Okay, so... So what I'll do is I have one, I'm sure you've seen me do it before, and I'm a bit like this. And then if I put the next one, and I like that more, then I will put the other one aside, the first one aside. See, I did like that one more, but then I might like this one more. And I do, I think. Yep. I do so then I get rid of that one and then if I'd like this one more no I don't because it's too much the same color as the music paper and then I've got this one and I just tried in all different spots I still like this one more could be the coloring I don't know could be the shape I couldn't tell you why I like it more well sometimes I can don't like that one the colors wrong in my mind I could have a little one I don't mind the little one so I'll keep the little one aside I think the big one is that one is too big and then there's that one and the color I think the color is wrong oh wait there's one more to try uh, and no and I'm not I wasn't going to use that one but that one might be used for something else so I've got to choose between these two I hope I'm not confusing you so I there's this one and if I close it, it's like that. And I do really like that. Or the other choice is this one. And I think I like the big one. There you go. So that was the first one that I really, really liked. So I might just swing my paper around. That can go on the floor. I don't think I need you. And um, we'll just... And I'm going to glue it offside. Like not in the center. Off center, I should say. Not offside. Off center. Yes, and I like that. Okay, that's super nice. I really like that. Now, I think I'll put that one aside. And I've got this cut out here. Just let me have a look at this. Left over from yes. No, that's too much. Overkill. Um, now, I'm just going to put this one offside because then... Oh, oh, no, I'm not. I need to cover inside. Inside is not good because inside was the outside of the Stamperia Spring Botanic. So like, in theory, I could have cut these out into tags, but I chose to use the paper on the other side because it's the first time I've seen them do that. They Normally it's white on the other side of the front cover of the book, um, of the paper pad, but this time they um, put some so you can scrapbooking paper so you can use it they decorated it so um, what I need to do is I need to cover the inside because I don't want to leave it like that and I have no end of 
choice here and I mean there's heaps I can do heaps there's all kinds of good things in here that's not big enough because I used that in the other video um, I've got this well why don't I just use this lovely um, I think it goes with the theme I think I'm going to use this lovely because um, that's all really blue that would be nice in there as well wouldn't that be nice but it's not the right color uh, this could also be nice in there but it's not big enough that would be really nice in there actually I could do part and then collage over there maybe I'll do that so what I'll do is I'm going to put my glue down oh I'm going to I know exactly what I'm going to do I'm going to glue this just a second I had to think for a second I'm just going to fold that because it's sticky and I don't want to get sticky on my on the other side just throw it over there in the ever growing pile of stuff I don't want um I'm not going to use PVA because um, this is Artie Mays and this was printed on uh, copy paper. It was ivory copy paper. So uh, I don't want it to be all crinkly. Although that could be quite a good look too if you want, if that was what you wanted. Um, and what I'm going to do, I probably didn't need to put glue everywhere, but um, I'm going to uh, stitch around it. So I, just, I can't even see. Yeah. Oh, I need because I kind of need to stand up to straighten it, like to put it right to the edge. But if I just push it slightly, it will go, and it's not quite right there. Doesn't matter. So it's a little bit sticky over there, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to put something there, and I know what. I'll tell you in a second. I'm just going to trim this off. And I'm going to stitch around it. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, that's isn't that that's another strip. You see, just I mean, you use up something and then you you create some more. Now, what I was thinking would be nice there. Just let me get it folding. I can do that after. I won't worry about that now. Um, is or I could put some music paper there. Uh, I don't think that's not big enough. That one. That would be nice if I had that printed bigger which I haven't because I'm very disorganized I would love that there hmm I would really love that there what am I going to do about that otherwise the other choice is something like that and I'm not really sold on that the other choice was I was thinking was this that would be nice but you know what my favorite would be would be that so what is the option the option is I could uh, go, stop the video and go and print it. I'm just going to cut this out and see what this looks like because this could be nice. Otherwise, I'm going to stop the video and go and print the other one because that's how decided I am about it. Uh, I'm going to cut that little brown bit off the border. Um, I actually printed this um, adapt to page so it cut a little bit off but it doesn't matter see this is not going to be wide enough it's not wide enough that could have been quite nice but it's not wide enough so because I've got that bit there I'm actually wanting this I want the texture of this I really like it so I have to go and print that bigger so we'll just put this aside and then I'll I'll do that afterwards. It's very wet, it's very gluey. Okay, so I'm, I really like that, see? I had no idea what I was doing and now I'm really happy with it. So I'll just put that aside. Let's get one, another one started and then I'll stop for a second and, and um, take a breather and go and prepare uh, the doily for the other one. Now, what would I like here? This one could have now I did print this out this is really nice this is from the graphics fairy it's not quite the right color really this is a super old um, book page Ooh, very old Ooh, it's got bits in it no um, 
unless I would like some of that. I don't know. Let's have go over to the doilies. Let's go over to the doilies now. Let me see. What about the music paper? There's this paper. Is that too blendy? That's too blendy. Well, then I'm going to move over to some of the patterned paper, I think, because I think it's blending in too much. Big mess over here. Oh, oh, I think this could be good on this side. So let me just trim. Um, well, actually, I'd like to tear it. I've got my, my um, ruler here. And I'm just going to tear it there. And then I'm going to tear, no, I'm not. I'm going to tear it here first. Let's turn it around that way. I want to tear there. And I'm going to tear. I don't think I want all of that. I think I like that. So I'll just tear this off first. So that'll be my top. And I don't want to cover up all of the Tim Holtz paper. That's nice. I like that. So I'm going to put that there. I think I'm just going to glue it down and go for it. I did forget about this page in my um, printable collage page. Completely forgot about it. I better just check the video is still mm. recording and it is oh we're already at 27 minutes i need to sit on the chair properly oh that's, that's a bit uncomfortable and then i would like to put a fussy cut something on there it's, no that's not going to work just let's have a look here oh my goodness what a mess what a mess what a mess what a mess Okay, so we've got the fussy cut stuff here. And I just have no idea what I would like. So you're going to have to bear with me a minute while I look at it. They're all too small. And they might be too big. They're not what I'm looking for. I don't know actually what I'm looking for, but um, I think I'll know when I see it. none of those see this is all a bit crowded in here now because I've done quite a lot of cutting out so that's why I kind of need to um, I need to um, finish off that other one that I did yesterday and that way I can get all my stamps out and then I can um, have a bit more space No, none of those are going to work. Something like that could work. So let me have a look at all these other lovely things that I cut out. Hmm, not convinced. Sometimes it's tough. Isn't he beautiful? He or she. Don't know. What's that? Forget me not. She's pretty. Um mm -hmm. the same one as before I need more birds I'd like to have more birds 
Wouldn't mind a bird on there. There's a rabbit. Not quite right. None of it's quite right. So I'm just going to go to my other folder. I'll just put this one down. Um, and I also have, oh, they're over there. I'll have to get those. I also have, um, I better not forget that I need to stop the video and go and print out so I can finish off this one. So we're just doing the collaging on these. I haven't decided what's going to go on inside yet. So I don't know if I'll do that on video or whether I might, um, I might, I like that, whether I might just um, show you them done. That's nice. That. Mm-hmm. Just looking, looking, looking. None of those. None of those. And none of those. Let me just grab this. I don't know what's going on over here. Oh, this is all in the scrap thing as well. Just throw that over there. So in here I've got all some little images. That's cute. That is, aren't they just the cutest bunnies ever? I mean, that's really cute. I could like that. I'm going to put that one aside. I like that one too. Put that one aside. Isn't he cute? I'm liking the bunnies. I don't want a happy Easter. I don't want it. it's not necessarily Easter this. It's just cute. So Mrs. Cot I love that bird. I could fussy cut him out. I did say I wanted to use that. There's another oh that's the same size as that one. I like these birds. There's another size of him. He might be too small. Oh, look at that bunny. He's not quite right. So these are just printed nine to a page. Then you get this size. I don't think I want any of those. I might only do two in this video, you know, because I'm very indecisive. I'm not getting anywhere very fast. Oh, that's pretty. That doesn't go, though. Okay. Right. Well, I do like the label. Let me see. bird there no that bird's not working this bird no I was going to cut him out see if I like him but I kind of like the green like the greenery I should say And I might cut him out and then not want to use him. Just depends. I think I would like him more if he went the other way. Just let me have a look at that. 
I'd like him coming in from the other side. I don't mind it. Okay, well, I'll just put him aside. He's my bunny. But I feel like I need to cut around him. And then there was this cute bunny. I think I might do the bird. He's kind of, it's kind of weird. Or is it too much? I kind of like it. It kind of um, blends in and, and, and looks like one. I think I'm going to go for it. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to put this here. I really do like that. That's kind of odd thing to do um, but I think it works I like it and again I might have that coming over like that's not in line with the paper I kind of like that idea as well so that is that I really like that and then here we need to continue our theme a little bit. Um, I just want to have a look here if I would like, I think I probably would like a doily. And I had one with birds on it somewhere about that size. I've got this one, but I had another one. This one. That one goes. But I need to do something up here. Um, I could tear, some, I think I would like to tear some of this. Yes, I would. I think I'm going to just tear it like this. I must say, I do like how this one turned out. I had, as I mentioned before, I totally forgot about it. Totally. Now I am going to glue that down. Am I going to glue it there? No, I'm going to glue it up there because I want that going up like that. I don't want it next to it. Is it really sticky? Okay, come on. I've really glued it down now. Okay, that's good. I am kind of covering up this Tim Holtz paper. This this um, this was the industrial one, and I must say it was. Um, yeah, I like that. It was a little bit um, dark and grungy for me. So I have used some of it because I did like some of it, but I didn't love all of it. Um, I like the bits of script po poking through here, uh, but it's it's very grey. So I'm kind of happy to cover it up. I'm not worried about covering it up and just having little bits coming through. So I really like that. I am quite happy with that. It's in the blues. I like that. See? pretty and then I'll decide what to do inside I quite like so inside is not a problem for me let me just trim that off um, inside is not a problem I need to think about what to do in there um, I wouldn't put that in there no I'm probably going to put some pockets or something in there so I have to think about that so as I mentioned, that's not the purpose of the video. Um, the purpose is uh, to do the collaging on the outside. But, oh, I know what I would like in there. I would 
like some of this. Or maybe I would like, although I need to print it on the white. That's my thing. I think I need to print it on the white because otherwise it's not the same colour. I need to print this out on white. So I'll do that. That's See, I need to go and print that one out as well. So I've got these two here. I've got this one, which I really like. I might, I might put a word or something there. I love that. And I love this. And I love that. Okay, so they, they need some more printing to happen. And then um, I've got this one. So I was thinking I, I didn't, um, I, could, I wasn't going to do another one, but um, the thing is, I might. So as you can see, I don't really know what I'm saying, just going on. Um, so I quite like, I don't know if I like that, I say that, but I'm just, I quite like that. I'm just picking up things that are around my table. I quite like that. I'm just thinking for a second and I'm going in here again just to see if there's anything I would like from here and it's too much green no nope. don't mind that don't like that. Where's my red ones? I had red ones. Here they are. Don't mind that. I really like that. I'm just not 100% sold on the background. I just want to see if there's anything else um, that I might like in the background. So let's just try a few other things before... So I could like that more. I do. So I'm going to tear that. Get my ruler. I'm going to tear it there so I don't tear the label. And what I'm going to do is um, trim the bottom off. And then let's see if it needs something else. I quite like that. And have that there. Do we need anything else? No. Nope. Let's just um, grab something like this and see. Just trying it out, just having a go. No, I think I like it without. It's more simple. So I'll just glue this down. Don't know if I'm on screen or not. Can you imagine if I've been off screen the whole time because I um oh dear because I um changed the angle of my camera? Could happen. Now I need to get rid of this, otherwise my um, my florally thing will rip. I don't need that piece of paper either. Okay, so now I've got to carefully put the glue on here. Okay. Great. Let's trim that off. And then I'm going to glue that up there and then we have to decide what to do on the back. So we've got the nice bright cheery 
turquoisey, greeny turquoisey sort of colour. I like that. Very simple. Oh, that'd be a nice card. Okay. And then what are we going to put on the back? What will work with that is the question. So... Something like that could work. Or maybe nothing. Maybe it's going to be a tuck spot. It's going to be a tuck spot, so maybe I won't do anything on the back. And then I need to cover inside because otherwise it's too much. And I'm thinking I might cover it with this. Just let me see if I like that feeling when I and I do. So I'm going to glue all of this. And then I will stitch around. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just enough so it's not um, bubbling, you know, air bubbling up. I'm just going to go like this so I can line it up better. It doesn't matter if it goes over because then I will trim it off. And this is... Um, What's it called? Medieval Mirage. Okay, so, oh, I like that. So I'll let that dry and then I'll do my folding. And I'll just recap. Oh, I'm folding it anyway. I really like that. That's going to be really nice. I'm going to let that dry. I'll stitch around it. I'm not doing anything on the back because I might want it to be a tuck spot. So there's no point in doing anything on the back. But anyway, it's pretty as it is. And you could decide to... Put something there if you wanted to um, print this up bigger or you know you could do anything on the back um, but it might be a tuck spot and then I would and I think I would actually just leave this one uh, it's so pretty the paper and it would be a journaling spot tuck spot journaling tuck spot and then um, I'm not going to do it now what was I going to do on this one this is all perfect this is how exactly how I like it I think I would like to print one of my um, doily border sort of things bigger and put that in there oh no oh it's going to print some of these but I want to print them on the white paper um, so I've got to do that and then this one I've got to print the doily I want to print the doily and put that there inside down the side there so I will think I'll end this video off and so that's the end of day 20 I think it is um, and I'll show you the next video how they turned out that's what i'm going to do so thank you for watching really enjoyed that project and i will be back soon mm. bye